I feel like taking it to the airport, I pretty much just offered it on a buffet to the, the car thieves. Sunil so Parasar took his family on a Caribbean vacation during the last week of October. Parked his 2022 Lexus at Pearson Airport's main lot at Terminal 1. I thought that being connected to the terminal and with all the video surveillance and security that there wouldn't be an issue there. He took a picture of his car in the spot. You came home and what did you find in that spot? Uh, it was a whole different vehicle, unfortunately. His car was gone. Thieves likely had his vehicle on a shopping list when they plucked it from the parking lot. Shop for is, is a great term because this is the reality of why it's occurring at the airport. It's the reality of why it's occurring at other locations where there's multiple vehicles parked in one place. It's organized crime and it's very hard for us to manage it. So what's a person to do to try to make their car less attractive? Mechanical locking devices, aftermarket security devices, all those types of things really help prevent auto theft. Peel Regional Police say there's been a staggering number of auto thefts at Pearson this year, 410. If I had known the number of vehicles being taken from there, even with those measures, I would not have parked there. We have increased our patrols by 100%. We've added police patrols in our parking garages. We have undercover operations actually occurring. We need to have conversations about why it is so easy to export vehicles, stolen vehicles. 21,000 thefts in the greater Toronto area uh, to date this year and 67 every day and we've only had one on average per day from the airport. To top off the loss, Harrisar's prepaid parking payment, almost $200, wasn't given back. Which I thought was kind of sad. I mean, I left my car there in their care and they don't even offer you a refund. Harrisar says he wants to warn others ahead of the holidays. Lots of people are going to be traveling through Pearson and I feel like they should know that, you know, their car may not be there when they get back. Sean O'Shea, Global News.